Hello again, my friends. It is uh, the toad again. Back on the hill, fresh from the sick bed. And while I'm on that subject, I want to give you a big apology. On my previous video, I neglected to give my thanks to everybody who has wished me well while I've been sick. I really, really do appreciate it. You can't begin to believe how much I um I've become a bit of a recluse over the last uh, few years, especially since I became ill. Uh, I mean, I went over two years without leaving the house at one point. You know, I'm uh, I'm not used to uh, people. Uh, I'm not used to people. <laughs> Generally, uh, I say I've uh, I don't go out very often, and for. People say to me, get all soon, we miss you. Uh, I just can't begin to tell you how much that really means so much to me. Thank you very much. It helped me a lot. It got me uh, off my sick bed a lot earlier than it probably would have been if I'd have just been left to my own devices. And of course, uh, the lady on the hill helped a lot. She gave me a lot of encouragement. It... Uh, it the virus that I got, which I have, I've had for over two years now. This is a virus that I picked up before the nasty plague that's covering the uh, the world at the moment. This is not that one. It was something else I had before that. I mean, it put me in intensive care for uh, for a short time, but um, it keeps coming back every now and again. And um, when it grabs hold of me, it uh, it gives me a good shake. And I'm not the strongest person in the world these days with uh, other little ailments that I have. So, uh, yeah, it uh, does knock me about a little bit when I get it. But it's gone again now. I don't think it'll be uh, back. I think I've seen the back of it for quite a while. And no doubt it will sh show its face again at some point. But never mind about that now. So, in the meantime, I have uh, been picking up a few little canoes. Which is what this video is all about. Right then, I picked up three because I was just curious. Mainly, in fact, I, uh, I, I was saying on the video, I really do like the shape of these now. It's a new one to me. And um, yeah, I just, I'm amazed I've, I've missed them all this time. They're lovely, lovely little knives. And of course, they've got spear points, and that's my favourite shape. I wish they put them on the Barlows again if I weren't just limited to the uh, more expensive uh, Boca Barlows with that shape blade I think they'd look wonderful on the uh, the normal budget range um, Rough Rider type Barlows so come on uh, Smoky Mountain pull your finger out let's get some uh, spear pointed uh, Barlows on the market that we can afford as uh, budget friendly uh, collectors like myself and many of you are the same I do know there's a lot of people uh, Sue Chicken for one who uh, definitely uh, agree with me as far as uh, 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 a slightly bigger Barlow than the one they're making at the moment would be good and a spear point would be even better I'd perfectly be perfectly happy if it was a single bladed uh, one as well myself I mean we've got here uh, this cool pepper which they don't call it a barlow, but it's basically a barlow. I mean, that is an ideal size. If that had the uh, the spear point blade on, it would be perfect. It is a very, very good knife, by the way. If you don't have one, you need to get one. All right, just a minute, the focus is mucking up. Let me just fix it. Yeah, I should be okay for a bit. So anyway, enough of that. Back to where I was. Okay, so the first, I picked up three. And... Uh, I want to compare them with you, see what you think, and uh, share my views on them. All budget, budget friendly, but they're at a different end of the budget range. So, firstly, is this Rough Rider Whitebone canoe. Very, very nice. Hold on, let me get my uh, fingerprint magnet cloth. There we go. I've, I've really got to like these uh, white bone 
things. I've got a couple of them now. Because you see there's one over there. And there's one down there. And I like them. They're very, very cheap. They're, they're pretty much the cheapest of the Rough Riders. I suppose it's because there's less work done to them. But I really do like them. There's just something... I don't know, naive about them. I just, I just think they're wonderful. Now, this was the cheapest one. This was, uh, I think it's about thirteen pounds, something like that. But it's put together really, really well, as you can see. Nice, nice shape blade. It's a normal steel four forty. Uh, that was uh, my constant Zakita kicking the table because I'm ignoring her. Your food's in the kitchen. I've already put it out. Just need to get up, you lady girl. Yeah. She gets herself as close as she can around this time. She knows it's nearly feed time, nearly breakfast time. Oh, she's getting up. There you go. Oh, no, she does turn around. She can smell something. Yes, you're in the wrong room. It's in the kitchen. All right, so anyway. Look at this. Now, I don't know how long this would last out in the field. It's not an expensive knife. As it is, you know, they're all right. Definitely uh, worth having. I mean, this is the kind of thing you can stick in your pocket and not worry if you lose it or break it. You've not spent a lot of money on it. But I think it would actually last quite well. The finish on it is very, very good. Feels good in the hand. Yeah, I, I quite like it. So... Nextly, from this, I picked up, I'll just lay him just here, look at my tabletop, I don't know, I'll put it there, I'll do, just there. So then I picked up a queen, now you can't beat the queen Barlow, actually no, nothing about it, I've had this for a while, I'm just going to lay the wipe, there we go, now these Oh, amazing. The quality on these is absolutely fabulous. When I first started getting these, I thought these were just going to be the same as uh, Rough Riders, same as Marbles. But they're not. These stand alone. And they're not even the same size. They're all slightly different sizes to the uh, Rough Riders and the Marbles. They are definitely made differently, which I'm very pleased about. That is a decent, decent uh, pen blade there. Nothing to be sniffed at. This saw cut is wonderful. I'm going to get the, the abalone ones, I think they are. Abalone, I think that's how I pronounce it. As soon as I've got the uh, the reddies. But in the meantime, look at that. Again, the finish, like I say, the finish is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. You can't beat it. Look at that. Whip that out of your pocket any time, and you'll always be happy. Apart from the horrible fingerprints on them, of course. But there we go, look at that. Yeah. Cheap as chips, and twice as tasty. So, you can go just there, my friend. Oh look, there's another queen. There we go. Now, if you just excuse me for a minute, I'm just going to let the dog out. Hey, now he's a back door shut, fellow. Come on. Come on, you. Here we are, back again, after just letting, uh, oh, that's right, knock everything over. After letting the uh, little girl out in the back garden, it's uh, just after five o'clock in the morning here. And, yeah, luckily she's uh, doing her pollutions out in the garden and not on the carpet, as she often does. It's not her fault, she can't help herself. Generally tends to be when she's getting up. Her hips have gone, she can't walk very well. And she struggles, and as she's standing up, often her 
pops a little bit of a turd out and it flops on and she doesn't even know she's done it. I say she's an old lady now, so can't tell off. Right, I was doing something, wasn't I? Oh yeah, that's right. The third one is on the table somewhere, where I can see it. Um, where are you? Oh, there you are. I remember now. All right, so let me get it. There we go. There we are. Let's give it a bit of a wipe over. So, we got ourselves a book. Now, I've got a couple of other little books of mine. I've still not bought the uh, 110 or 112, excuse me, or any of the uh, large hunters. I need to get, get it one day, and I will do one day. I'll put you over there, that's better. I don't want to hide that. The stranger sent me a sticker, and I do appreciate that. Thank you very much, sir. Right, so I've got a obviously another little book down there, and a, oh, another little book next to it. But I've got this one now. I will be getting some more eventually. I'll uh, I'll get onto the one ten. I'm sure I will one day. It's that thing about um, keeping away from your heroes. Sometimes they're not as good as you think they are. And I've I've ogled one tens for many many years. Always wanted one, never did get one. And I'm now getting to the point where I'm a little bit worried that when I get it, it won't be as good as I think it is. But one day I'll get one. So anyway, here we go. Now this is twice the price of that. And this one's in the middle. So you've got the cheapest. Still cheap, but dearer than that one. And then this is the dearest. Is it worth it? I think so. It's it's nothing special, don't get me wrong. It's no better in appearance, although I think that's the best looking one, I've got to admit. But they're all put together really well. No problems with them. This is a uh, better steel, I believe. It comes with a guarantee. The uh, little note came with it. I'm not going to read it, but you get these when you get the books. And it's and this is from the book family, and it's welcome to the family, and lifetime guarantee, and... With them sort of things, as you all know. But yeah, this is obviously uh, made in one of our Chinese friends' factories. Uh, it's not made in the US. I'm perfectly happy with that myself. They do a fine job and they don't let the book name down. But this is it. Feels really good. The thing I do like about this though is it's raised up here. Very much uh, feels good in the hand now. What does it remind me of? Oh, it's under there. The uh, the queen, queen, the uh, marbles, uh, ramshorn is very much like this. A bit more aggressive in this though, but I do like this. A nice spot in the hand. So yeah, there you go. What's the uh, pen blade like? You all ask, well, here it is. Ask away, and there it is. Okay. Yeah, there's no wobble. It's a good stout blade. This is the one I would expect to get some uh, decent life out of. It's had some really, really good reviews. Feels good. And, um... I would expect it to last longer than that one, if I was using it. That one is too pretty in a lot of ways to use. I'd spoil it by scratching it all up. So I do think it's a very, very attractive looking knife. To me, that's the sort of thing I would actually be getting out. If I was wearing a dress suit, I'd be sticking that one in my little watch pocket. You know, that's the one I'd be getting dirty and going all the grimy rubbish with. And this is the one I'd be using for general work. I'm very happily impressed with this, so I'm going to be getting more of the uh, Chinese boxes, a few more to get. But now I've seen how this is, I'm going to be getting one. So, 
I'm sure everybody's got their own opinion about which is the one to get, which is the best one. But there they all are. Put that down there, so you can see. So, we have the Queen, Rough Rider, and the Book. They are my introduction to the medium-sized canoes. And of course, the, uh, the little two beauties over here are my introduction to small canoes. I don't know if there's bigger ones. I missed out on, I, should, I intended to get myself the, uh, the uh, Rough Rider Mule. I'll be getting that in a couple of weeks. I, I add it, actually added it in my, uh, my uh, basket to order. And for some reason, I didn't get it in the last minute. I wish I'd have got it now, because that's a bigger, more sturdier knife. But uh, I don't know what else is out there until I start looking. So, with that, I will say adios. And thank you again for your support while I've been sick. I really, really do appreciate it. It's uh, been a bit of a battle, I've got to admit. But I'm over the best of it, uh, all the worst of it, depends how you look at it. There's my new toad sticker. Yeah, so I don't have anything else to say. So until... I have another occasion when I have nothing else to say and uh, I've got something else to show you I'll uh, say so long TTFN I hope you all are well and none of you have got this horrible bug that's going around so don't want to stay still do they Pesky knives. I don't want to do the wrong thing. Oops, I've gone a bit too far over than I planned to do. Right, okay, I'm yabbering now. Thanks again for your support. Hope you enjoyed the video. Love to know what your pins are on uh, uh, canoes. And if anybody's got any suggestions for me to uh, look at, I will love to get them. Because I'm getting a bit of a loss in what direction to go now. There's so many knives I want to buy, I don't know which one to buy first. But, yeah, that's for another day. Right, see you all soon. Take it easy. Have a good one, and I'll see you out there. So long from the toad.